Pete and Logan back in the dark room. We're talking about seam leaks today, and the one that we picked out is probably one of the hardest ones to do. So we're going to blow it up, show you how we find it, and how we fix it. All right, this particular seam leak, we've already found. Visually, you can look at it and tell we have an issue there. But there again, we just want to confirm that there's no other seams leaking. Everything looks good except for this little guy right here. So almost on 90% on of our seam leaks, the cause is overinflation. Uh, if you inflate this to uh, its recommended inflation, leave it out in the sun, it heats up, it expands, pulls on the seams, but that's where most of our leaks come from. So it's not uncommon to see a seam leak. So if you do leave this out in the sun and you're going to go to lunch or whatever, always take just a little bit of pressure off it. That way it has room to expand. All right, we're gonna move on with this repair. We're gonna take all the air out of it. And we're gonna clean it up. Logan, a little bit of acetone. We got a hypodermic. On the seam leaks, we do, we do it a little bit different. We wanna get inside of the seam on a small seam like leak like this it's it's easy to have dirt and stuff in here on a bigger one you can see it but we just take a, a syringe that you can get at west marine you can buy a pack of them for seven eight bucks put a little bit of acetone in there and we're actually just going to open this up just a little bit more to make sure everything's clean you can see our seam is about three quarters of an inch and I'm just gonna rub on the edge to make sure I don't have any uh, glue balled up or anything that's gonna hurt our repair. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult. We're gonna use the glue out of our repair kit. Acetone flashes within just a couple seconds. Acetone, we're using acetone because it has no oils. So it, it's a pure thing like xylene or anything else, uh, it has an oil in it. So when <clears throat> xylene flashes, it leaves an oil on the vinyl. Acetone does not. So once again, we got our glue out of our repair kit. And this one's just a little bit more a little tougher to do because we can't see how much glue we're leaving on the seam. So we take our brushes and we try to shove it all the way up in there. And there again, we don't want to use a whole lot of glue on this because we want a quick repair. We're not going to use our, um, our plates. Okay, so I got glue all the way up in there. We're going to let it set for about five minutes. Press it together and fill it up and see what happens. All right, we're going to put a little heat on there. Once again, we want to check our heat and make sure it's not too hot. And now we're just pinching that corner back together. And just as long as you can still touch the vinyl, we're, we're not too hot. That keeps coming back. I got a oil on it, fuel oil. Mm -hmm. And there we go, our seam is repaired. And this is actually probably one of the tougher repairs you'll do in a corner like this.